<laughs> okay guys, welcome back to Math with Mr. V. Today, we'll be doing consumer arithmetic. More importantly, we want to find out which products are cost effective, aka the cheaper ones for us to buy, okay? So, we're gonna go to the store, and then of course, we're gonna get back inside and do the math. And we're gonna have fun while doing this. Math with Mr. V, bringing you real life in mathematics. Welcome to Math with Mr. V, where math is easy as one, two, three. Okay, so I have two pockets of Lasco, yeah? We have the 400 gram one, and we also have the 120 gram one. So we're going to find out what the prices are, and which one is more cost effective to buy. How much, how much, how much for the bigger one? 445. 445 for the bigger one. And the smaller one? 145. 145. All right, so we're going to go in and find out which one is better for us to buy based on how much it costs per gram. Okay, so I'm going to quickly jot down those values that we saw in the previous clip. All right, so the 400 gram one is $445. And we're going to find the cost per gram of the larger packet. That's simply going to be equal to the cost of it, which was $445, divided by the number of grams, which was 400. So I'm going to go straight to my calculator. I'm going to put in those values, All right? And I get that number there, and I'm going to put my answer to two decimal places. So that's going to be $1.11. So that tells me that every gram inside that packet was worth $1.11, all right? So we're going to move on to the 120 gram packet, all right? The total cost for that was $145. So I'm simply going to divide that by the number of grams, and that would have been 120. I'm going to quickly go to my calculator, clearing it of course, and then I'm going to get the value, and I'm also going to put that to two decimal places. Just be reminded, in your final exam, you might need to go to extra decimal places just for security. So you look at this, which is a better buy? Of course, it's going to be the one for $1.11, saving you an extra 10 cents per gram. I did some searching and I found a question very similar to our real life example. This was taken from January 2016. Now guess what? I'm going to charge you, get that pen, get that paper, pause the video, try it on your own before you press play. Alright, so at lunch, my go-to drink is Mini Maid. Alright, this one's for $90 and this is a 600 milliliter one. Alright, so make note of that. Now on days when I don't really feel like I want too much sugar in my system, I go for the smaller bottle. This one is 355 milliliters and it's worth $50. So now we're going to try and find out which one is more cost effective. All right, so, have a nice. I have noise in my background. 
Okay, so we come to the end of the video. I hope that you really found it informative. I make sure you do your homework, by the way. Make sure you do your homework. I'm gonna check on you. All right. So I have a big surprise for you guys. But guess what? It's not gonna be next week's video. It's gonna be the other week's video. So stay tuned. I'm gonna give you clues along the way. Hit that like. Hit that subscribe. And of course, share it with all your friends. I worked so hard making this video. I gotta make me some mask on. I love Melasco. We're not obsessed. <laughs> <laughs>